Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you a game of chess that I played um, featuring um, six knights. Yes, you heard that correctly, six knights. So let's see what happens. Again, I was trying to play deliberately and usually. And basically for a while I've been trying to see if it would be possible to win. With knights. Now I found out I'm showing you this. But it's actually possible to win and get checkmate with three knights. Apparently you can get a draw with two knights, but you can, um, if that's all that's left on the board and an opponent's king. But This is what's known as a forking check to those people learning. Here it means that the knight can take that after the check. They actually took the bishop, which means I still have my knights, which will be helpful for later. I'm at this point trying to mop all their pawns up. Not quite sure why they did that. I think they're trying to um, get a queen. I think that's their idea, but a bit pointless. So now all they have left is a king. At this point, they cannot win. They can draw, but they cannot win. Now, they cannot stop me getting a queen, but I'm not going to try and get a queen. Instead, I'm going to absolutely astonish them. Yes, I decided to um, promote it to a to a knight. Now, um, you may those that were listening from the very beginning and looked at the title said there's a, this game would feature six knights. You think, well, hang on a minute, there's only three there. But if you notice, there's Another three pawns left. So you've guessed it. The other pawns are all going to be promoted to knights. Now, one of the reasons of do for doing this 
and it locks the knights together so that they cannot take either of those knights and yep you've guessed it I promote it to a knight probably to the shock of my opponent <coughs> I'm now doing this very quickly and once again another knight I, ha I then move one of my knights to protect the other knight, so at the moment three knights are protected. I allow them to take my rook. I'm not particularly bothered because to be absolutely honest with you, I just want to see if I can get checkmate with three knights at least, and I've now got six of them. But will I actually win? Can my opponent get out of this? Yes, we've got three horses all lined up at the bottom. Not that, that will help me in any way. Oh dear, the king is escaping. I tried to move more of the... And these two knights are linked so they cannot take. Now, they're in check. And now, spoiler alert. I now did not realise just how brilliant the move was. Or even, perhaps that was their only move. And I'd trap myself, but we'll see what happens. So... Let's see what they could have done. They couldn't move there. Mm -hmm. So this was the only move they could have done. I didn't notice the situation, to be absolutely honest with you. Can you see what the problem is? I stupidly moved another one of my knights. I didn't realise at the time what was happening and I thought well I'll try moving some of the other knights out. And basically um, it, was st it then became stalemate. Because they cannot move their king. So I stupidly wasn't observant enough and I had been desperate to try and see if I could get checkmate with um three knights. I had six on the board so that increased my chances and I ended up getting a stalemate because I was too greedy 
and thought, well, I'll start using it, moving some other nights out, and basically it thought it caused it to um, be stalemate. So I lost in real terms. I mean, it was a draw officially, but in real terms, I lost because I didn't achieve what I wanted to achieve. So let's go back. That would have been check. And they could move to there. Um, but then the game would have carried on. I'd have to think of what I could have done. But again, I could have then started moving more nights out, and I could probably at some point have got um, a checkmate. But um, anyway, going back. This is what, as I said, actually happened. But nonetheless, we had four um, horses nicely lined up. It, they look cute together, don't they? So there you go, guys. Very unusual to see that. Again, as I said, this was a real genuine game. Played against a real online opponent on chess.com. This was not some puzzle that I set up. This was not something I copied from a book and, and showed it. This was a real genuine game. Featuring me, myself, and um, and my opponent. Okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.